set. I had a really good life growing up. I wasn't allowed to have a boyfriend until I was like 16. And I started dating a guy that introduced me to everything bad <laughs> that your parents tried to tell you to stay away from. He got me into doing Oxycontin and opiates and stuff, and so I didn't even know that you could get addicted to it, and then it happened. <laughs> and she met this kid that um, started telling her more about pain pills and getting them, and um, so that's when it started to be where she was abusing it. When she had the one boyfriend that had, it, we started really wondering, and that's when Ultimately, she told us later that that's when she actually knew that she had a problem. I went to rehab for the first time when I was 23, and then I didn't take it seriously. Went to rehab again for the second time when I was, I believe, 27, and um, again, didn't take it seriously. Um, I got into selling drugs, heavily into that. And I completely didn't talk to my family at all. Like, I, I never talked to them. I hid from them. And I was basically like living on the streets, living in different people's houses and committing crimes. At this point, she was out of, not, had no touch with her at all, um, no contact. And I went down there and I would just sit there in the truck and just wait to see if I could see her to know that she's still alive. It was hard to go through all those years not knowing where she was, not knowing what, if she was okay or not. I started getting arrested for like stealing cars and breaking into people's houses and you know, shoplifting, things like that, drug possession. I went to jail for the first time, like in jail for the first time for residential burglary. I got a strike then, and um, I did six months in jail. So you can check to see who's in jail, and she would consistently just get arrested for things left and right. I was out for six months. In that six months, um, I got um, pregnant with Bobby, <laughs> and uh, I was freaking out and I didn't know what to do. While I was there, that you don't have any, you don't do anything. You're locked in your room a lot, and so um, I don't know. That's where I just kind of started reading the Bible and um, praying about things and um, kind of accepting my situation. And I hadn't talked to my parents in years. And when she went to jail or prison, I guess it was, and found out that she was pregnant, she started calling. And that's when she told us that she had the Lord back in her life and that she understood that it wasn't anybody else's fault but her own and started admitting things to herself and to us. And once that started, we were fine with, you know, helping her. At first it was just devastating news that who's going to take care of this kid. So, but she was saying all the right things. She was taking total responsibility for it. Um, to come back to having uh, faith in, in the Lord, and that's um, what we do. So then I get to real, like, CIW, and um, I find out about this mother infant program. I applied for it, and by this time I'm like eight months pregnant. I got into the program, and I was like due in like a week. Like, that was the first time ever in my life that I felt God real. Like, I, like, He rescued me from that. So I did, I went and visited her and it was, you could see the difference in her. And I even said to her at one point, Jess, I just want my old Jessica back. And she said, I don't think you can get the old Jessica back. The old Jessica back into the mess that I got into. So this is a new me. And she, and she was right. Then my parents said that I could come live up them, live with them up here in Morro Bay so that way I could get away from you know the atmosphere that was down where I grew up. And We'd already bought the house up here so we said you want to come up? Yeah Bobby and I came up here and it's been one blessing after another. Like, I have a job, I have a car that I pay for, I have I pay all my own bills and I've never done that before. And She's a pleasure to be around. She's a, such a hard worker and she's such a great mom. I'm in school to become a drug and alcohol counselor and Bobby's doing amazing. I don't want to lose her. Not lose her, but have her move out. I really enjoyed having her 
out of here. It's been nothing but great.